Welcome back, Johnny Boy here. We're uh, continuing with this landscape project in, in Cumbran here. And you're gonna ask yourself, why am I using a drill to fix feather edge boards? And the reason for that is that this is only a four inch wall and they've got a nine inch pillar. I think it's just, well, in fact, it's every three meters, which is just not enough, not enough at all. So we can't be put in using the galvanized nail or even a nail going on with it because we don't wanna, bang it around so I'm using the, the drill and I'm using these small fours 40 mil spac screws they got a nice head on them the star head and uh, it's going to ensure that the screw gets there nice and neat and it looks neat as well so what we're doing making sure everyone's plumb so it looks nice and neat because this is on show to the outside on a public path here and um, so that's how we're fixing those on and we're fixing them to some three by two graded tantalized timber then it's nice and flat on the top and what we're going to be doing we're going to be later on we're going to be putting a capping piece on top of here to ensure that the water doesn't enter the end grain what we've done to secure the uprights so these three by two you have to excuse me here a sec we've got some three by two uprights going right the way down on the wall here on the four inch wall and they are secured with these masonry fixes here and they're brilliant I really like them so we've used um, a masonry bit to go right through the wood straight into the wall six mil and we've used this to fix it and then what we've used to fix the the rails to the uprights we've used these 100 mil 400 and they're, I think they're five they are um, exterior and it's so important even with the, the screws that we've used the smack screws for fixing the, um, the feather edge boards on is we've got to ensure that we use an exterior product because we don't want them to rust. You know, all rust marks all the way through. And it's so important is that when you put these on, try and maintain the same distance as well, it'll look a lot neater, though eventually the wood will soften up over the top. So that's it for now. How to install a feather edge fence on an existing boundary wall.